In 1514, the Actoritus Imperata confiscated the art note, and inventions of the famous Leonardo da Vinci during his stay in Rome. According to recovered text, the reason for the Imperata's intervention in da Vinci's research was to halt unholy actions on holy ground. The mass confiscation of anomalous artifacts was enough to clog the Octoritus Imperata's inner workings of containment for years. They needed outside assistance to help control these godless creations. A monastery on the slopes of smoke-belching Mount Vesuvius was contacted. A plan was devised, certain construction projects begun. The monks of the secretive order of St. John the Hesychast perfected the arts of containment and using the anomaly sealed themselves away from the rest of the world. Once per decade, an authority delegate makes a traditional rendezvous in the mountain with the monastery, only to be turned away once more. Over the centuries, memories of the confiscated items would be lost to time, and the story of the interventions would become authority legend. Until today, a novice of the Order has made a terrible mistake undoing the veil of silence that protects the things contained within Vesuvius. Seismic activity from the core of the mountain has been increasing over the years, and the age-old rituals are becoming stale. A legend has become real once more, with terrible cost. The ancient rituals of the Order have lost their potency, and lost secrets, heretical technologies, and forbidden works of the craftsman's art are clawing their way back to the outside world. Whatever their original purpose, one thing remains clear. Da Vinci and his colleagues were toying with powers beyond earthly comprehension. The long-lost Crypta Sub Vesuvia is opening. I am a humble brother of this order. Decades I have served God and the good of man in this monastery. Centuries the Order of St. John the Hesychast has done the same in these old halls. When I seal this letter and speak certain words, it shall appear in the halls of the Octoritus Impertus. We have never called upon the authority until now. I can only hope they remember our pact. The crypt hold relics of the Renaissance's darker side. Monstrous machines. Mad anatomical experiments. The products of naive curiosity or commissions of bloodthirsty princes. Buried here are secrets and living things in equal measure. Every day, we must renew the scaling scripture upon a screaming wall. We do not look into the shrouded paintings. Every month, we feed the old monsters with Sicilian breads and Tuscany wine. Every year we pray before monstrous things, sealed by men in centuries past. They are long gone. The numbers of our order are dwindling. We lose precious knowledge, wilting the times passing. The wards weaken. Change rust. Men forget. Every decade, an authority representative visits. We reject his offer for help. Now we plead for aid. Brother Nikolai is murdered. Brother Andrew is missing. None of us dare enter the crypt. We pray God protect those that will.